What if I told you there was a perfect counter to the glaive shield? Now what if I told you there were four? Now don't get me wrong, I think Glaives are super strong, but I've got a lot of messages over the last few weeks from some really good players who think there is nothing they can do about them. Whether from my recent one-shot Glaive guides, or simply from people I played against in trials, messages are starting to flood in about how they feel they're losing to lesser skilled players just because they're using a Glaive. Now I don't want to be the guy to say just adapt, but I will be the guy to show you how. I'm nice like that. Here are four things that are hard Glaive counters. A few that will make me literally switch to another weapon, it's such a hard counter to the Glaive. First, let me just start by mentioning two key things that Glaive users do, because these two things help determine the weaknesses. And if you're thinking about these two things, maybe you'll think of something I didn't consider yet that's another counter for them. First, when a Glaive user shields, they're slowed down significantly. Some of the complaints about Glaives often mention how they're upset that they got killed by a bot walker, so let's keep that in our back pocket as a potential weakness. Second. The shield only protects the front of the glaive user, not the back. In doing this, I'm also able to confirm that your hitbox becomes a lot bigger with the damage that's taken by the shield. It's at a 75% damage reduction, but let's just put this in our back pocket that the hitbox is bigger as we move in to how to counter them. Okay, the counters, let's do it. I'm gonna give all my secrets away. I'm teaching you how to defeat my current favorite way to play Destiny. Please be kind and like and subscribe and don't let me regret releasing this info. <laughs> We'll start and end with absolute bangers that anyone can do, so be sure to stick around for all the methods. Okay, glaive encounter number one. Y'all aren't ready for how this stuff works. Oh my gosh, Wither Horde. This is the only weapon in the game that will straight up delete a glaive user through their shield. Not only is it an insta-delete, but your hitbox area becomes so massive with the shield that a glaive user becomes a giant balloon for you to shoot at with Wither Horde. It's hilarious and so lethal. If I'm in a trials match where there's a decent player with Wither Horde on the other team, I will straight up take the glaive off. It's not worth becoming that big of a target for the enemy team. It's a hard counter. My friend Z Merc with a mouth, who I owe a lot of credit to for helping me pick up glades to begin with, and also figuring out all these counters, we were caught up one day asking each other, do you feel like you get killed with Wither Horde more now that we're using a glaive? And the answer wasn't just Yes, it feels like it. It was yes, and we actually factually proved that we are by going into private labs and confirming the hitbox is massive with a glaive shield. Okay, number two, wombo combos, wall banger grenades, and scorch trip mines. I'm including all these together because it depends on what class you're running, but anything you can throw on a wall behind a glaive user or get them stuck in, they won't be able to live through it. I can't tell you how many times this has gotten me killed. If the glaive user is shielding, they often will not be able to move quickly enough to get out of the damage area before dying. This includes the void wall nades, lightning grenades, anything like that. I mentioned wombo combos here because while the smoke and nade would kill anyone, that amount of just pure damage wouldn't typically kill a glaive user. It's just that they're stuck in it and can't get out of it because they're shielding. The last thing to note on this, Scorch Trip Mines, I say Scorch because a simple proximity knife and Trip Mine isn't enough to outright kill a Glaive user with the shield. You have to have that Scorch applied to ignite them at the end to finish them off. So something like Caliban's is great. You could just shoot them to conclude the fight too. I'm just saying that it straight up won't end them. Also, I have to point out this weird unicorn effect that's so funny when you stick someone with the shield, it just sticks out, but it will blow up when they take the shield off, but if it blows up while it's stuck on there, it won't do as much damage because the shield eats it. So always throw the grenade behind them. A side note on the trip mines, I'm going to call this method number 2.5 that is a failed attempt. It didn't work out. I really wanted there to be a way to scorch enough to ignite a glaive user and just insta-kill them, bypassing the shield, maybe from behind or something. I wasn't sure how the ignite would work, but it just straight up doesn't work. The glaive eats the ignite no matter which direction it comes from, which is insane to me. Trip mines just happen to be the thing that does enough damage on top of the ignite to get the elimination. Big shout out to Ironworker Gaming on YouTube who did a huge deep dive into how Solar 3.0 Scorch stacks work for every ability. I really wanted to figure out a way to use this since it's new and no one's really using Scorch in PvP outside of Caliban's. It just it just doesn't work. The Glaive Glaive Shield eats everything. Okay, Glaive counter number three, and this one is bizarre. Divinity. What an amazingly weird success. 
Merck had this idea and I was like, nah, man, I don't think this is even worth messing around with. And then I got deleted by it just immediately. But then I didn't get deleted by it. And this one's mind boggling, mainly because the results are different every time. But I think, and this is just my theory, that the crit orb that Divinity causes lets you crit the actual player through the shield sometimes, like you're hitting them from behind. I could be totally wrong for the reasons why, but I can confirm that it has the potential to melt through a glaive shield, even if it's inconsistent. For reference, here's a normal trace rifle, and yeah, full clip can't even cut it. That's how surprising it was that Divinity killed so fast. Counter number four, and this is probably the easiest. Anyone could do this, just freeze them with stasis. And I'm talking anything, like, you're already slow while shielding with the glaive, and you're walking around with this massive hitbox. A warlock comes around the corner with penumbral blast and just ices you. That shield doesn't mean a thing. You're out. You're frozen. Ice flare bolts that track you on the ground are great too. All that bot walking people are complaining about, use it against them. Just throw an ice bolt on the ground and that shield's going down. Not only that, but once you get frozen with the glaive, it takes a second for you to get that shield back up. There's a shield delay activation that a lot of glaive users complain about, and you can use that against them as well too. All right, all my cards are on the table. You know my weakness, but my greatest weakness of all would be your like and subscribe for more helpful Destiny 2 content. Let me know in the comments what counter you like the most, and until next time, GG.